Hey guys, TSW here with diary entry number 11, no less. So today was Friday and I was playing, what was I playing, some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and uh, one of my guildies hit me up on Steam, TSW, hey, log on. And I'm like, what? And he's like, we're raiding, we need a tank. And I'm like, uh, it's Friday, what's going on? Um, but anyway, we ended up raiding. Um, there were some people in the guild doing some family stuff, like having a family dinner or something. So uh, we waited for them for like half an hour. And then we uh, continued to a raid and we got some really good progression on Beth Talak. It is, um, well, on my previous uh, diary entry, I kind of said Beth Talak is like impossible. Um, however, Lord Ryle, not Lord Ryle, um, uh, Balarek of the Gatekeeper is even more impossible. <laughs> Um, but we had some good attempts on Beth Talak. Uh, not a kill, but definitely um, better. As you can see here, we got Beth Talak to 60%. And I think he healed. Oh, it's a she. She healed. Um, so I'm, I'll, oh, I've, I've, I really need to do a uh, normal mode tactic strategy on TGN. Because uh, I've got a few others to do. Um, Beth Talak, Rag, and Majojo, Majojo. The... <laughs> sixth boss whatever you want to call him um so yeah i'll I'll do those whenever i don't know maybe tomorrow i was gonna do them today but i ended up raiding today um i did quite a bit of live streaming today as well did some leveling did some uh did some solo kara which i may show at the end uh if i run out of uh, uh beth Talak footage um so the fight is pretty intense very demanding on your healers and even more so on your dps um, so what am I doing here? Just taunting down the ads. I've got my vigilance on the druid tank. Uh, not only to get myself a bit of a must, uh, not mastery, a vengeance, uh, but also to refresh my taunt when I can. So after the third load of spinners, we get a uh, drone. This is the guy that I'm tanking down at the bottom, and is the only uh, ad that you actually want to be caring about to tank. Um, you can tank some of the spinners if it comes to it, but generally speaking, they die so quickly and they don't do much damage anyway. Um, and the drone itself doesn't really do too much damage. It does a frontal cone AoE uh, every 10 seconds, so uh, that hits quite hard. But generally speaking, when you have just one drone on you, it's fine. However, if any of the spiderlings reach the drone, not the spinners, not the slightly larger of the adds, the smallest ones, um, he will heal for 10% and increase his damage by 10%, I think it's damaged by 10%, um, I should know I'm the tank right, uh, I think it's 10% and heals in 10%, um, and then once in a while he'll fixate somebody, so you can see he's doing it on our uh, fell druid now, and, um, but, but don't worry, they don't get one shot, because um, he does, he well if he hit 100% normal damage on the rest of the raiders when he fixated they die pretty quickly, but no, um, he his damage is reduced by 75%, so when he's on a clothy, uh, the, the person doesn't die when they're fixated on. So he's fixating now on Namada, our mage, but his enrage looking uh, buff reduces his damage. You can see there's a broodling on me with a little um, line. What that does will, ex will t reach me and explode doing 50,000 damage to everyone within 8 yards. So um, you want to be, well depending on, uh, generally speaking you want to be uh, stacked in the middle of the raid, however um, if there's uh, a broodling coming into the middle of the radio you want to kind of spread um, so you don't all die from that because 50k is not a lot when it hit, hits one person but when it's the whole raid it's a lot okay so I'll take you through a rundown of the entire fight um, to begin with uh, Bethlehek well basically because no one's on the uh, the floor above on the web uh, Bethlehek will do uh, AOE damage the entire raid we all stack up and we taunt down these uh, spinners the spinners die really quickly they don't really need to be tanked they don't do any damage really and they die very very fast and then what you're going to have is the uh, tank go up the uh, the web really quickly. Oh my god, I fail. I'm trying to right click around. I touch one of the um, the webs and I get taken up, which is bad. You should never do that. Um, and then when the third wave of spinners come, there will be a drone that will spawn. Uh, some of the times it was bugging out, attacking people on the web above, which it shouldn't do. But um, I think it was alright for this attempt. Just you know, checking the map, making sure we're in the right boss zone location. What we did was have the drone go over here to the star position, um, away from the raid. 
Um, we found this to be quite beneficial when people were getting um, targeted uh, or fixated on is the term used. Um, fixated on by this drone, they would run to star, meaning that they had an actual location to go to where there would never be any of the small ads. Because we have people um, killing and uh, slowing down the uh, the other ads, and if it targets one of them, they can just run straight to star and know it'll be safe rather than going left or right and it just be, just becoming messier. And we found that we were able to do a lot more damage on the drone. Um, taking it to uh, that star position because uh, from this position straight on drones uh, no sorry uh, this uh, the uh, spiderling spawn and to the left and to the right and then to the far left is where the drones spawn so I picked up this drone this is the second drone I mark it with a skull because the chances are we're going to get a second drone once this one's up um, I I don't. I haven't actually looked at the timers, so I don't know if the times get shorter and shorter. But you get four drones. Um, this is the second one, and then you can see here behind us we have some spiderlings. Got to kite it away from the spiderlings. You never want any of the spiderlings to touch the drone because not only will the spiderlings um, be consumed by the drone, uh, destroying them, it will also heal the drone for 10% and increasing his damage done by 10%. So you want to always kite them away, or kill them before they reach the drone, which is simple enough, right? but there are quite a lot of them and you also can't have all your damage down here because you want um, as many DPS as you can on, uh, on the stairs above. Uh, when we kill the spinners they leave a web uh, coming down from the sky. You want to click the web like I did wrongfully at the beginning and you'll go up to the top. You want to have someone tank it, tank the boss, uh, obviously healers there and uh, as many DPS as you can because when we go into phase two, um, when the boss does his third load of AoE, uh, devastation I think it's called, um, when he does his third devastation he will be coming down the ground and he will start the uh, nuke phase and you need to get him down to about 75% or else you can't physically kill him. So um, I'll tell you when I know what HP Beth lacks on, on this attempt. So got this, uh, got the drone on me now, gonna kite it away from the spiderlings so he doesn't heal and get a damage buff. Um, it's okay for him to get a damage buff and heal very, very early on, i.e. when he's on 99% HP. If he heals 10%, he actually heals 1%, but he still gets the uh, damage buff. You can see here he's going into the raid because he's fixating on somebody. This is the dangerous time where if there are spiderlings in the middle of the raid, he can heal, he can get a damage buff. Um, that's why people, you, you don't want any, any um, well, we've got it marked as cross. You don't want any of the ads to be in cross as well as in uh, Star. But it is only the Spiderlings which will heal the drones and also uh, Bethlack when Bethlack falls down after the third of the Devastations. So at the moment we have two ads, one of which is about to go up to Bethlack, healing him for 10%. Bethlack's on 78% now, means telling the top left hand corner, 77%. 76% sorry I've, I've not rewatched this after this attempt so 76% this is the sweet spot this is so far a kill um, apart from the fact that we didn't weren't able to kill the drone so Bethlack is going to come down at 76% that is where we want Bethlack unfortunately there are um, some of the um, not the spinners not the broodlings. The broodlings are the ones that do the AoE damage on the floor, which uh, do the 50k damage in the 8 yard radius, um, and also leave a patch of AoE on the ground, which you don't want to touch. But unfortunately, we have some of the, what are they, spiderlings, um, that, that any of them, I think we had must have had two of them. Um, oh, no, sorry, one of them, because she was on 76% HP and then healed to 86 HP. So just one of the spiderlings uh, were um, in, um, consumed by Beth, like healing her for 10%. And then this is the nuke phase where she does lots and lots of AoE and you want to be um, rotating your uh, raid cooldowns sub like 30%. And this is so intense, this last part. We obviously want this drone to be dead. I think there's, there's another drone somewhere that may have died. I'm, I'm not really watching. I'm looking more of the percent of the boss. Um, but yeah, uh, I think our best attempt was like 50%. Really, really demanding fight. It's so intensive. Like we only just had enough damage on Bethlack on the uh, on the fl on the web floor above us, okay. We got Beth to seventy six percent, which is what you want to do, um, and yet we weren't able to kill the drones below. 
it's so intense and early today I was also in Kara doing some um, AWE polls so uh, yeah catch me on the live stream uh, WarriorTSW uh, sorry blah, 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 justin.tv slash WarriorTSW uh, become a fan you can get email notification and all cool, cool stuff like that uh, when I do stream so you can catch me on there ask me questions um, and yeah I play a, a couple of games uh, a few of them aren't excuse me working um, because uh, apparently streaming games that in full screen um, doesn't agree with the uh, streaming uh, for some reason uh, so wow I play it in Windows mode full screen and also Starcraft Windows mode full screen um, what other games do I stream anyway basically if I can't play it in uh, Windows mode full screen I can't stream it so that's a bit of a shame but um, yeah uh, might as well include a bit of Kara uh, I'm just someone was saying oh solo some stuff so I was like uh Kara and they're like yeah <laughs> um I, I remember killing Nightbane at level 80 that was really challenging actually um having to use your uh, victory rush uh really um to your best of ability and because uh, I jumped down here lots of the uh or everything respawn um not respawned uh, reset and uh, yes, basically this is the the fun stuff I do, do during the day. A uh, solo Kara for one. Uh, play some other games for two. Chat to you guys on the stream for three. And uh, yeah, if you wanna um, you know, have a have more of a conversation with me than uh, just watch my videos, definitely check out the stream. Um, tomorrow I will most likely be streaming as it's Saturday. Although I may be going out and watching the new Harry Potter film. Uh, I'm not too sure. Some of my friends want to see it, and I didn't see part one, so I may have to. Uh, view that some way or another beforehand but um yeah so a uh, question for you guys um whereabouts are you progressed in firelands normal or heroic and are you going to see any film possibly the harry potter film over the weekend or do anything interesting over the weekend because i am probably going to see the harry potter film but maybe not enjoy it because I might not be able to see the first one before I see the second half. Um, but yeah, again, I've been TSW. Thanks very much for watching. Please thumbs up the video. It really, really helps me. And if you want to support what I do on my channel, then the best way to do that is to, well, if you want to, favourite the video. But I'm not going to force you to do that. However, I would really like you to uh, thumbs up the video. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, it helps the video get noticed as well. I've been TSW. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks a lot and bye-bye. Uh,